Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Time to go back into Jiggy Wiggy's temple, take the jiggies we have, and turn them in two levels we can go into. We have 11. We need four. So uh, let's do it. Give me the levels now. Don't need to talk to Jiggy Wiggy. Just uh, go on over here, and uh, you're good to go. All right, Jiggy Wiggy's puzzle was challenge challenge Whoa! part two. Is this really a challenge? Well, it's... It, I, I need to overcome the challenge. It is an easy challenge to overcome, so. Okay, but but do we need to do, like, a Rocky montage for you to beat this challenge, or can you do it yourself? Uh, I think I'm okay. Are you wait, sure? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, all okay. right. Okay, now uh, this is the last piece. I need you to focus. I had a little bit yeah. of trouble on that, on that next to last piece, but I think mm -hmm. we figured it out and we had enough time, so we're good. Cool. The Great One. This is when Banjo finally sees God for the first time. He sees Chris Stamper? <laughs> I, I'm just waiting for Jiggy Wiggy to accidentally summon Satan instead of a new level. It saddens me that Rare never put themselves into the game at all. What, you don't know Carl Jiggy Wiggy? One of the main developers of Banjo-Tooie? <laughs> oh yeah, I went to college oh! with Carl Jiggy Wiggy! So that's the entrance to the second level, and I hate this level. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate Looks it. Looks like a prospector's paradise. It's, uh, I'm not a prospector, and it is hell for me. But we have enough to do challenge three now. Oh. Okay, that's really cool that they actually let you know, oh, hey, you have enough. Yep. Open another level. Why don't you? This is level three. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even figure this one out, dude. I need your help. It's okay, just take it one piece at a time. Okay. Just... Duh. I've, Fuck. I've um, been doing a lot of puzzles okay. lately, and my right. brain, I actually see Picross in my brain now whenever I stop to think about something, so please. There are no numbers to help you here! No! It's all about shapes! I can't do shapes! I need numbers! Oh, uh, well, I'm glad you're helping me. Alright, here's a number. This. Okay. One, zero. Here you go. Cool. One, zero. That's ten. Right, because we got a ten out of ten here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I like the third level a bit. It's sectioned off, it's big, it's got some annoying parts, but I I really do like it. A lot better than the second one here. I'm surprised Gruntilda didn't realize that Jiggy Wiggy had this ancient technology that shoots gigantic lasers when she herself has a gigantic laser. Well, I mean, she kind of probably scattered all the golden Jiggy pieces everywhere, so that's probably her doing. Oh, good lord, there's a theme park level? There's a theme park level! Witchy World! Oh, cool. Oh, come on, it just opens up. I wanted to just blow up. Probably too many polygons. They're, they're probably proud of that door, so they had to keep it there. You don't have enough for challenge four, though. I think we need, like, 16, maybe? You do not have enough for challenge four. Get the fuck out. Oh, 14. All right, let's get, let's get three jiggies and go to the next level. Come on. All right. Dun, 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 bam, 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 so, uh -huh. so to progress uh -huh. in Isla Hags, yeah. you need to use a skill that you got in the previous level. Oh, and they still have the, the brain munchers here. Get them out of here. They go back in there, get swallowed up, and then they regrow their heads, I guess. Uh. Well, at least it's progressive in how it lets you go on to the next level, I guess. Yeah. Glitter Gulch Mine! Aww, I hate mine levels. Yeah, I know. This one's pretty bad, too. Oh. Wait, are we already in the level? Oh, no, these are just the Isle of Hag notes. Oh, we haven't seen any! Yes. Oh, jeez. Even have their own, uh, molehills. Fire eggs! <laughs> no, I don't mean fire eggs from your butt, I mean flaming eggs! Wow! Oh, I didn't know Kazooie was fire type. Eggs now have different elements. Okay. There will be more than just fire. Let me guess, fire, ice, and electricity? One of those is right. Electricity, got it. Aw, he refills your health. That's nice. Thank you, General. Alright, Kazooie. Time to be fire-type. 
Time to time what? <laughs> it burns! <laughs> so now we can come up here. Oh, okay. Get some notes here. <laughs> when the taco shits go wrong. <laughs> Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Look at that dramatic build-up you did right there. It's called a dramatic reveal. A uh, reveal, excuse me. So this is how you get uh, your uh, your honeycomb energy increased. Sup, Ms. B? It's Honeybee. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would have made your quest too easy. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. So yeah, uh, we get uh, we get empty honeycombs. We come here, and she'll trade them for extra energy. I don't know how I feel about complicating the process of getting extra health. Because in the first one, you just collected them, and bam, more health. But in this one, you have to go see somebody. Because it takes less to get uh, more energy. I guess. Because we have enough for two units of energy. Because instead of six honeycombs to make one energy, now four make two. And I think it increases, you know, per, per, per comb. So I think we'll need, like, three for the next one, five for the next, stuff like that. Is rare getting uh, hornier? I don't, I don't know, but let's just say... Yeah, say you need five for the next one. Gotcha. Uh, let's just say that... Uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was... It poisoned their minds! No, I don't, I, I don't think it poisoned their minds. I think that was a result of the poisoning. <laughs> it's like, man, we got we got jiggle physics in Banjo-Tooie. Might as well use it for something else. How All about right. a hot hornet girl? Oh, here we go. Glitter. All right, Glitter Gulch Mine. I hate this level. It is... The, the level design is really uninspired. And from the looks of the uh, length of the episode... Pretty advanced. Yeah. Pretty long level. It's and it, it's not even all of it. We gotta we gotta come back later. So there's there, there's a globo. There's a Cheeto page up there. I don't think we, we can get quite just yet. Maybe. Ah, oh, come on! I have faith in your gamer skills. Well, not anymore. Got the you speed the shoes. Box. Can't get. You got spring shoes, which you can't get. Oh. Spring shoes. Okay. Okay. I don't think we get those until, like, level 5. Oh, good lord. We have to come back that long? Yeah, this is what I was hoping. Please be able to get it. Let's see. Me uh, yeah! yeah! That's my boy! All right. I knew you could do it. But there is a Jiggy around here that we can't get unless we get the spring shoes. We can use these, though. Oh, that's good. We can get around faster. <laughs> okay, so... So we hit that switch. Uh, oh, Which down the river as we wait for the flyby pan through. Oh my god. Oh. Go! 35 oh, seconds! Run. Really? I like how Banjo's covering his eyes. The like, oh, bear hate water! <laughs> I'm scared! Oh. Oh, well, actually, you've already done that because, you know, uh, running so fast, you know, oh. bugs and gnats and flies just... He, Banjo learned to keep his mouth shut very quickly, well, because he was running on water. It reminds me of the time I went on this uh, roller coaster. Uh, Millennium Force at Cedar Point, if you mm. need to, if you must know. It was raining that day. Mm. You know, not, not so much to close to close the ride, but... Uh, enough. En enough that when it took a picture... Everybody had their faces covered because you're getting hit with rain at 75 miles an hour. A lot of fun though, still. <laughs> I had a great time as you're bleeding from every orifice that the rain touched. All right, now for the worst part of the worst level so right. far. Swimming level. Already. Uh, All right, get to swimming. If I had to do Gloomy Galleon, and you have to do Clanker's Cavern and this piece of shit... Six not, bubbles? Not, not only that, but, uh... The... the sw mm. Alright, I, I got a thing when it comes to inverted axes. Mm -hmm. You like it or you don't? It depends on the game. Okay, so this is inverted, I can tell. Yes. I'm having a really hard time, because... I, I think I inverted the X just so uh, the aiming could be better for me, mm -hmm. but that makes the swimming bad. So then I re-invert them to uh, fix the swimming, which I'm going to do right here. Uh, okay. But that's going to make the aiming bad. 
All right, There's so no way to win. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So can't do much on that. Maybe it's in settings. Music volume. Into, yeah, flip Y axis. There we go. Yeah. All right. It doesn't help as much as you think it does. Well, let's see. Uh, you have a little more control, I can tell. It helps a little bit, but when it gets to aim it to aiming, I'm gonna be fucked. At least they give you the option. Well, most games, you know, nowadays, not then a days, but nowadays. <laughs> then a days. <laughs> Back in my day. Can't really get through here and have the thing to get it through here. Back into the water. Back into the water we go. Hold your breath, Kazooie. <gasps> oh wait, she's the one swimming and but, doing all the work. But swimming is like, you know, kind of flying a plane. You know, I push down, I go up. I push up, I go down. At least now. But then it, do it doesn't apply to the aiming because then I push down and I go up and that's terrible for aiming. What the hell was that? Something popped into existence at the bottom. Probably, a, probably a bubble. Oh, it's a honeycomb oh. of sorts. Now, does health refuel your air? No. Or no? No. Really? No. Well, that's mean. Yes. It is mean. Especially when you've uh, had a good idea of where to go in the video you saw, but then <laughs> forgot. But then you actually get around to doing it, and you're like, wait, uh -oh. which way? Fuck. Well, I notice your air is going down a lot slower than it used to, so that's good. Yeah. Air is not going to be a big problem in this game, trust me. It's so fascinating that Donkey Kong 64 has infinite air. Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie do not. Well, duh, because bears and birds can't breathe underwater. And you think Kongs can? Yeah. All right, well, go grab your pet monkey. We're going to test this theory after I waterboard it. <laughs> Don't take that out of context, please. Well, that's, that's when you waterboard it, not when it swims. Well, you can't force it. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets, like, scared or something like that, and it starts choking on <laughs> on water. Hey, good job. I wonder what if there is a lore-based reason as to why the Kongs can breathe underwater. Hmm. If I still had the manual, it might have it. I might still have the manual somewhere around here. Oh, my God. I'm going to gonna have to look for that. To country or 64? 64. Because I feel like country might have some... Uh... She might shed some light on that. I kept uh, manuals as a kid. I didn't keep the boxes, unfortunately, but I did keep the manuals. I didn't keep either. Aww. I hate myself for that. Aww. Now they're harder to get. Yeah, they are harder Aww. to get. Now I'm just holding on to what I have. I'm actually very surprised and thankful that there are used game stores that still stock manuals and player's guides. Because those are relics of the past. That you can barely get anymore. Players' guides. Players' guides. They would they would have you these printed books of secrets in the game, <gasps> and of course be outdated within you know an update of the wiki. But I mm -hmm. just already went this way. God damn it! I hate this level. Well, it's okay. We can talk about used game stores and how amazing they are in these days. I still hate that there's a price hike on classic games now. Yeah. Still in the pandemic times and. Everybody's jacking up their prices because more people are staying inside and playing retro games. In an age where people uh, aren't really preserving their retro games very well. No. And I gotta say, I kept a lot of my old games in pretty good condition, but things do run out. You remember when we Let's Play Mario 64, played it on legit hardware, uh -huh. and then the battery ran out? It did? Yeah. Oh. The, the cartridge battery finally ran out. And it wouldn't keep saves anymore. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But uh, thankfully, there are alternatives. I can't remember. Did we play that on the Wii or the Wii U? Oh my god, when did we do Mario 64? That was before the Wii U came out. Was it really that long ago? Yeah. 2013, I think. Oh, well, the Wii U would have been out. It came out in 2012. Okay. So never mind. Like late 2012. Yeah. When did I start doing this? 2011? I'm almost at 10 years. So I... Oh, oh god. We're almost at ten years apiece. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be ten years for me uh, next year. Yeah, because you started about a couple months after I started. Yep, I'm, I'm going by uh, when I started doing your own stuff. Yes, I'm, go I'm going by Goemon's Great Adventure Episode One. My debut into me making videos. Goemon's Great Adventure Episode One. That had to have been 2012. Had to. Have been. I think it's April 2012. April 2012. That sounds right. Because I started in February with that which will not be named. And then Bad Fur Day shortly after that. Another Cheeto page down here. Excellent. 
We gotta come back uh, again for another part around here. We need uh, a different type of egg. Three hits for that? Yeah, fall damage is no joke here. Wow! So anyway, about getting older. <laughs> like they, made, they made some things easier, and they made some things definitely harder, that's for sure. Well, that's good. I would hope a sequel would, you know, up everything and not take away anything, but it still seems like there's... That, that's an, the ideal uh, I ideal outcome, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen the way we think. Sometimes sequels are worse with less in them. This is the crushing shed. Oh, good lord. Do those have eyeballs? I, I, no, I think they're just mad. They're just mad. Go, go. Oh, ow. Does this have a pattern? And how he's got, like, a squished head for a little bit. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, my God. Kazooie has no beak. <laughs> and... And go. go! Right there. They have shadows. That's good. Bang, and why bang. did you come back here? There we go. To hit this button. Oh, okay. There was a reason. I thought the button was on the outside and you just made a horrid mistake. Okay, so this is worse. Yeah, you can get This it. is bad. Uh... That really? Been really? Input. I stopped counting missed inputs, by the way. Oh, okay, that's fine. That was a gag for the old series. <laughs> and my series. That was a Banjo-Kazooie uh, uh, gag. And now we need a new gag for Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. So what's that gonna be? No. Perfect! Yeah. Awkward silence is the new gag. Alright, cool. Let's start <laughs> now. Fuck, I can't do it. This is terrible. <laughs> that was really awkward. <laughs> That's an awkward silence moment. <laughs> UDJ in the NIST called Top 10 Awkward Moments in Silence. Number 10. Number 9. <laughs> Number 8. I still love that I actually did get a comment on one of the best series we've ever done, IMO. And, uh... Which was? I still think Dead Rising 3 is miles above one, in my own personal opinion. I, I think it's just our genuine joy and surprise that we got from seeing it. Surprisingly, positive energy begets positivity. Because even nowadays, I hear that, oh, Dead Rising 3 is just, oh, mm -hmm. you know, good. It's like, let me show you. Ha, ha, that proves you guys didn't play it. Yep. Right. Or, or yeah, didn't play it right. There's so much enjoyment out of that. But anyway, what I was getting to is somebody actually asked us when we finally moved on to a different game in the Dead Rising series. They said, what's the gimmick for this one going to be? And I was like, or sorry, the running gag. And... I just sat there thinking, you don't pre-plan running gags. They just kind of happen. That's what makes them fun. They, they just happen. Well, we have ideas like, you know, the naming Frank West something else and doing a uh, mm -hmm. a little uh, gag at the end of every episode. That, that, that just kind of came to be. Yeah, that happened because of making each other laugh during the episode. And it's like, well, shit, we can make a gag out of that. So here is where we're going to be uh, connecting the first level and the second level. Are these two buddies? Yes. Can't really do anything right now because we need to break that boulder that is on that other side. Okay. We don't have the move to do that yet. Right now we're just kind of doing what we can, getting a feel for the land, getting some notes in the meantime, getting a jiggy or two. There's a lot of land to feel. There's a lot of land. It's... Feel those mounds. There's not a lot of openness either. I don't know. Maybe they make up for that with just how much of a level there is. Maybe. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the build drill. Ooh, this is how you break boulders. Oh, just this? I thought we'd have to get Mumbo, at least for that particular rock. I think this is where they get uh, Conker got their uh, context-sensitive joke from. Because in DK64, you have to drink a potion to to, to push press a button. the red button. Context sensitive. You need to, you know, learn a special move to do a special kind of attack. Context Thanks. sensitive. Context sensitive. You can break this boulder with that move, but not that boulder because you need something else, which is context sensitive. Of course, yes. Plunger with dynamite. I think I know what's gonna happen now because I've played a video game. 
What do you think's gonna happen? Well, Kazooie just learned Drill Pack, so I assume we're gonna break a thing. Yeah, we got some things to break. Can we... yeah, we can climb up... well, we can kind of glide all the way up here. So here's how it works. Basically, it's the same as your ground pound, but you hold the button. That looked kind of icky. It's it's kind of sticky, kind of gross. I, I like that they hold you in place. But like now, if you want to do a ground pound, you just gotta like press the button. But do the builder, you gotta like hold it for like half a second. Eh, it doesn't seem too bad. I'm glad they're not adding like you know you have to do a ground pound and then press A and B or something like that. It's not turning into a fighting move list. There's another. There's an orange ginger. Or is that a brown ginger? I don't know. I don't know. We're bringing these families back together, and that's what's the most important. We're saving the world. Saving the world. I mean, next, Banjo's gonna go over to DK Island and try to solve the tuberculosis crisis. <laughs> There's a tuberculosis crisis on Banjo DK Island? Banjo and Kazooie solved the TB crisis on Donkey Kong Island. Banjo TB! <laughs> There's the second Globo. Hey, nice. Near as I can tell, you need only one Globo per Mumbo or Wumba visit. Okay. Like, I, I don't think they're gonna go, Oh, you need ten Globos for this one! See, when I first heard that Kazooie had a drill pick, I thought that was going to mean, Oh, hey, you get to go in a scavenger hunt and start digging. Nah, and it's not like Knuckles' drill dig. Thank God. I remember when we did... <laughs> Those knuckles levels, they were so funny. <laughs> what I'm saying is I miss Sonic Adventure. I know, I do too. Sonic Adventure is great. You made me enjoy multiple Sonic games in a row. Congrats, friend. I, you, you just gotta, you, you gotta shift your thinking. I think people have an idea, uh, this perfect idea of what a Sonic game should be. And so when that Sonic game inevitably doesn't meet those standards, they think it's, you know, Sonic was never good, and all that. But Have you heard the shit that's been happening recently? Oh, what now? What now? Okay, you know how after time passes, people look at, you know, games that weren't that bad as, you know, it's not that bad. Oh, don't tell me people are defending Sonic 06 now. They're defending Sonic Forces, saying it's the best in the series. Oh! <laughs> to which I'd like to say, get the fuck out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you, yeah, you said, uh... <laughs> They're defending Sonic Forces, which, yeah, you know, it's it, th that game gets a bad rap, and it really doesn't deserve that, but best in the series? Whoa! Well, pump the brakes here, fella! I mean, I don't hear any defense for Rise of Lyric. All I hear these days are, you know, Sonic Colors actually isn't that good, and I'm like, get the hell out of here. I, I agree with that. Damn it! Ah, oh, no, you're part I, of the problem! I never liked Sonic Colors! I thought it was lame and weak! Well, I'm glad we did the LP then. <laughs> I'm glad you did the LP for that! Okay, yes. And I, I was like, wow, I'm glad I'm not playing this! <laughs> Let's see, what else are they saying? Oh, they say Sonic Unleashed is better than Colors, which I am fully gonna disagree with. No, I'm gonna fully agree with that. 100%. What?! 100%. 100%. Unless you're talking about the PS2 Wii version, in which case, fuck no. Are you are you saying you would rather play the boring-ass 30-minute-long Werehog levels more than some of the different levels in Sonic Colors? Look into my eyes, Niskel. Yeah? Every time. Get out of here. Every time. Oh, we have much differing opinions on Sonic games <laughs> then, friend. It's a good thing they all suck, otherwise but, but, we wouldn't have gotten to this conversation. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're disagreeing on you know, which ones we like, which ones, which ones we don't. You know, I like the ones, you know, Sonic was never good, never good, then we wouldn't have, have oh, this, no, he's this got conversation. Great games. Yeah, he does. Sonic 06 is clearly the best one. You wanna hear something controversial? What's that? The original Sonic stinks. It do, well, yeah. Okay, it doesn't stink. It's, I but, mean, by comparison, it's not that good. By comparison to Sonic 2, 3, and Knuckles, mm -hmm. I mean... See, I think that's the reason I didn't finish Mania. It's because, it, you know, obviously it reminded me of the old Sonic games, but it still brought the problems from the original ones. I didn't finish Sonic Mania just because I was getting bitchy with the emeralds. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I, I've been uh, trying to do a thing where I get all the Chaos Emeralds in one playthrough, huh? and I'm on like, like five or six right now. So uh, I start the game up, I go around to the place where the... Uh, you know, this is going to take forever. Yeah. Uh, I, I run to the place where the emerald is, I mess up, 20 seconds in, and I turn the game off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally understand that. I think I stopped at Oil Ocean Zone, because I hated it in 2 and I hate it in Mania. 
but I love I love Mania though. Mania is like, you know, Sonic tr Sega tried so hard to bring 2D Sonic back with you mm -hmm. know Sonic Rush, which was okay. It was okay. I'm glad we agree with that. There's some there's some bits I liked. You know, I like I like playing as Blaze. She had a different kind of playstyle. So it was kind of neat, slower, more powerful kind of thing. But uh, remember Sonic Adventure Episode Four? Or uh, not Sonic? Oh, Sonic Son the Hedgehog. Sonic 4? the Hedgehog Episode Four. Yeah, it it was okay. It was uh, not not that good. They tried to do the whole 3D and the 2D thing, and uh, they have a hard time getting the 3D you know in the first place. And they think that they can do the 3D, and it, it, just, it just didn't work. I still remember... I'm just glad Mania exists, okay? I'm really glad that the achievements were doable in Sonic 4 Episode 1. I did those. The one I, that took the longest, it took me like hours to do, was beating, uh, I think it's Death Egg, without getting hit. Well, that sounds maddening. And Robotnik and his mech drove me up a wall. And the thing is, he has, like, a suicide move at the end. Uh, and trying to avoid that, failing, and then having to redo the fight again. I hated Sonic Episode 4, or <laughs> 4, Episode 1 after that. Hated it, but at least I did it. I don't think we ever played Episode 2, did we? I didn't. I didn't either. Because I heard it was Garbo. Shit, now I'm gonna have to get it and see if it was actually Garbo. Is it, if it's anything like the first one, it probably was. See, I'm always looking for new stuff to do. Aha! Oh! <gasps> this is the major oh! new addition to Banjo-Tooie. That's cool! The ability to split up Banjo and Kazooie. Why would you want to, though? They're the perfect married couple. Well, they have their own things together. Well, uh, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna do uh, a couple things that are pretty embarrassing here that you're gonna probably have a nice old laugh at. Alright, well... Get, get your giggling fits on! <laughs> is that good? So, uh, oh, you're supposed God. to split up Banjo and Kazooie, so one of them can work the power and the other can't, but, uh... I can see those. I can see those on my television as well. They're much more, def they're uh, much better defined on my TV than they are on this YouTube video. Yeah. But it's, it's not hard at all. You, c you can see it plain as... Ah! Which is why we're going to come back and do it properly the next time. <laughs> <laughs> you were close. <laughs> I was. I'll give you that, you were close. Yeah, that, that was me just going. Shit. Well, that happened. Fuck. Yep. That's that. That put a damper on all my plans I had for this episode. So, uh, what now? Um, hmm. uh, well, how about uh, still got still got some uh, mole hills to find. You know, we haven't gotten all the moves yet. Still got some notes too. I think. Yep. 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 It's over uh, there. It's a good place to be. Fuel depot. Have you gotten requests for projects? What do you mean? Like, somebody asking you in the comments, Hey, can you do this game? Uh, everybody asks me all the time to do, uh, Banjo... Grunty's Revenge. That's a game? Yeah, it's a- it's the- it's a Game Boy Advance game that takes Ooh. place between Kazooie and Tui. Hmm. Does she but, get buried under the same but, but rock at the end like of that an, one? It's, it's like an isometric game, and even though it has the same kind of scope as a Banjo-Kazooie game, it's just isometric and... I'd say lesser for it. Mm. All right, time oh. for some first-person shooting. All right, we got the gimmick. Might as well keep it. Oh, do you have to shoot fire eggs at the at the explodey boxes? Uh, oh, there is a molehill here. Where are you pointing that thing, boy? Beak bayonet. Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, turning Kazooie into a gun. Nope, it's turning her into a bayonet. You now have a melee attack in your first-person mode. You can stab people with Kazooie! You can shoot them with fire eggs, and as they're burning, stab them. <laughs> Looks more like a sneeze, but okay. Black you! Oh! <laughs> oh, my heart! Just stabbed right in it! <laughs> Poke the explody box. Not, not that dangerous, apparently. So, where's the threat? You've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of tnt sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mine. I well, love explosions. Well, that sounds like a thing we can go do for a jiggy. Let's go! 
Shoot but, one in the whole mind. But... Oh. So we so basically we gotta shoot one of the explosives, and when that happens, a timer will start. We gotta go around the whole level, and find the rest. Hmm. I'm going to show you the second playthrough that I did here. Okay, so... the first one was just... A, a, a brutal failure is, is what I'm getting here. Fifteen of them, wow! It's fifteen of them, and there's a... They, they give you a bit of time. But it's a, it's it's one of those uh, 90s shooters levels. So, uh, you know. So the hitboxes are ungodly large, because you missed that first one by a mile. Yeah, the, the, the hitboxes are ungodly large, and so is the level. Uh, did you even... Uh, did you actually break the first one? Or did I just see something off? I did, think I think you saw something. I think I just poked it and that was just... I, I, I mean, when you, like, shot straight past it and still counted. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. You can hear uh, nearby dynamite things, though. Oh, that's nice. So, <laughs> so you're not, like, completely in the dark here. But they are... <laughs> You're, like, jumping around hard to hit with your melee attack that takes, like, 20 years to wind up for. Yeah, I noticed. So this is just, like, flying. I, I think she lurches forward, too, when she yeah, does Yeah, she it. does. I noticed that, too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's a good sink point for you. <laughs> oh, that, okay. I guess that counted. Yeah. This is why I'm showing it the second time around, because there's a lot of seconds in me going, Where is it? Where is it? Where can it be? Go, 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 go. See, this is where we need to bring in, like, the current Mick Gordon soundtrack and just, like, headbang through this entire thing. How many Doomsers are we going to make throughout my channel? It's so cool! Well, here's another one. Okay. Cue. Go. Yeah! Shaking my head. I know people can't see me, but I'm flipping my hair, which... I need a haircut. I don't. No, you don't. You got that... Lion mane, I want you to keep it. I've got this crazy hippie hair that I've had for like years, 15, 15 years now. I might as well, you know, why, why get rid of it now? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I think the long hair is character building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe when you quit LPing, you'll get it cut short again. <laughs> the hair I met you with. <laughs> He's regressing! No! Oh, I, I, I got my hair cut way too short one time. When I was 16 <laughs> years old, I uh, said, you know, yeah, cut my hair down to a quarter of an inch. Oh, what a great idea! My barber's like, that short? I'm like, yeah! I was like, you're gonna need to, like, watch the sun then, because you might get sunburned on your head. And then after I did it, I realized, oh, that is way too short. Mm-hmm. And I think the last time I got my hair cut, like, professionally, may have been at prom. Oh my God! <laughs> now, now I uh, just have uh, Violet trim my hair when it when it needs it. Like right now, it needs it. I get this this mullet looking thing back here. It's mm -hmm. not not great. It gets all floopy and flippy and very bad. So, have I ever told you I do have blonde in my hair? That's why I get to make blonde jokes. I have a single. Can I say explains a lot? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Blonde joke. I get it. <laughs> no. How can you? You're blonde. Ha 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 ha! No, I actually have a tuft of blonde hair that you can only find when my hair is short. And there was one time where I was like, you know what? Let's try getting more blonde in my hair. So Ooh. when I was 16, I think, uh. Uh, my barber, he co-owns a building with a hairstylist mm -hmm. who normally does just, you know, women's hair. That's, a tip that's typical. Yeah, my, yeah, that's my barber very typical. That too. So I asked her, you know, you know, how much for adding blonde in my brown hair. And, uh, the deed was done. Unfortunately, I didn't give much direction on how I wanted the blonde to come out, so it just looked like I dipped my head in a paint bucket for a little bit. Should've said, like, platinum blonde or something. I know. At least it matched the blonde in the back of my head. I think you'd just be a gorgeous strawberry blonde. You know what? Let's not give people ideas. The first person to draw me with strawberry blonde hair... I don't know, I'll give you, like, kudos, I'll retweet you. You'll get featured in an episode, I'll be like, Hey, guess what? Somebody actually drew you with blonde hair, and I have it here, and then we'll pop it on here and we'll- Strawberry we'll, blonde hair. G g give you a thumbs up, give you a shout out and all that, and- it's, Give you exposure. Yeah, it sounds like I'm paying by exposure, but, you no, know- No, trust me. It's a, it's a pro bono job, anyway. Yeah. Alright, 
Oh, oh, so, oh. uh, I didn't see that warp pad over there, actually. Got a globo for Humba. Mm -hmm. And this is... This kind of signifies the weakness of this level, what you turn into. Here, here's your new purse pet, ma'am. Uh, you get turned into a rock. No. A minecart. A TNT plunger. Wow, yeah, really? Exactly. A detonator? Really? There's a bunch of uh, exposed fuses. Uh huh. By uh, boulders that you can blow up. Oh, good lord, really? And we gotta go over, yep, like right here. You couldn't just do that with a, f a fire egg? Nope, and when you blow up, it hurts. But Excuse when you, me? But when you do it contextually in the right place, then it works. What? Yeah, weak. Weak sauce, C minus, see me after class. It reminds me of the bomb mask from Majora's Mask. This is a terrifying thing. Uh -huh! What are you? A canary. Yeah, a canary in a coal mine. Hilarious. I'm Canary Mary. She looks like... Oh my god! A deranged old woman went crazy. Yeah. And just... like. I, I mean, I understand the joke, but my god! Ew! Like this, this is about the worst character <laughs> modeling that Rare has ever done in all their years. Oh my god! Woohoo, I'm please, free. Please get away from my eyes, they're very big and I can see you well. Please leave them right now. Yes, go away. Now. Get going. You know, seeing a person that depressed, dressed as a canary and also being able to fly, I have a feeling that once she leaves this mine, she's gonna go to a therapist, it's not gonna work, and then all of a sudden she's in the missing papers. G oh, good god. No, no ah, upskirts! Ah, what the fuck? Come on! Oh, good. A place to end my life. At least there's no gas in this mine. Well, she's set up for another jiggy later on that will do, but. Uh, oh, good. So you have to save the, the poor woman. In order to get another Jiggy. Yeah, well, we gotta race her now, but... Excuse me? Yeah, <laughs> what? We'll, we'll get to that later. What? Skip, really? Skip ahead a little bit. Aww. Head in here. Okay. What's this? Oh, hey. This is uh, the outside of that place we couldn't get into from the, <laughs> the flood caves earlier. <laughs> uh, does is open that way. I okay. should mention that the plunger TNT uh, boulders that you open stay open. Oh, good. It's not like you got, you know, when you leave and come back, you gotta get, go back to Wumba. And, or, or, or not, they're not that bad, but, uh, you know, just had to tell you to make sure. <laughs> Still good, apparently. Hmm? Ooh, I saw a Jiggy up there. Yes, you did. You're about to die. Yes, I am. Right, we gotta do a couple things in here. Oh, so there's just a, some shit to blow up. A, like yeah. that. Ow. That wasn't nothing. And now uh, I need to go out and get health. I need to just, just a little bit. Hold still so I can blow you up. Yeah, we'll come we'll come back later when we uh, got more health there. Right now it's uh <laughs> that's uh yeah. I could just imagine you finally look at your health and you go, oh lord. What was in here again? Oh, that was, that was more canary. gas. Uh huh. So, is there anything else of note that we're going to be doing? Well, there's a whole second episode we got to do. Mm. I know. Is it as long as this one? Probably. <laughs> I hate this level. <laughs> Don't feel so defeated. It's fine. Oh, oh I, I, I finished the level. It's no problem. It's just, it's 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 a drag to get around. There's not a whole lot of landmarks to help you out, really. You know. Yeah, you got Mumbo's thing over there, but, like, what is Mind Entry 2 supposed to tell me? Oh, the dungeon? Oh, I should've just said dungeon then. Mm hmm So, hit that, and that reveals... Something. It opened a door! It did open a door, and we can, if we can, like, hop our way through, we can get this green ginger. And no health, still. And no health still. Because you have to beat dudes in order to get health. Yeah. So I have a funny feeling this episode is going to end with you dying. 
Why do you think that? As a plunger. Why do you think that? Because you can't get health, and in order to get health, you need to blow up. But if you blow up, you die. You're rocking a hard place at this point. Well, I'm trying to get as many contextual uh, TNT things blown up as I can first. This one's a pretty major one that'll help us in the next level. <laughs> That's not on a track. Get out of here. This one's heading to Witchy World. I was just thinking, yeah, we gotta have a... Oh, wow! That has nothing underneath it, okay. D did you send them the clowns? Oh, be careful of the shovels coming after you! So, can I, like, go through, or...? And... Uh, Humble Magic, no one can go through here, only Bear and Bird can uh, Okay, can't go through there, but that's okay. That's a jiggy we can't even get anyway, so, uh, see you next time! Ah! See you next time on Banjo-Tooie!